Welcome to Zen Healthcare IT. In this Mirth Connect basic series, Brian will walk you through some basic tools and functionality within Mirth Connect. If you have any questions or would like additional resources, head on over to consultzen.com. Hey guys, Brian from Zen here with another episode in our Mirth Connect basic series. Today we'll be exploring channel tags and channel groups. These are two very simple but powerful tools in Mirth Connect for keeping your channels organized. Let's begin with channel tags. So what are channel tags? Channel tags are searchable keywords you add on a channel summary tab. You can then use these tags to filter channels in either the channels view or on the dashboard. This allows for better organization and documentation, makes it easier to manage an instance with many channels, and makes it easier for new developers or consultants to find what they're looking for. For very small implementations of Mirth Connect, this may seem unnecessary. You can stay fairly organized with some simple naming conventions. However, if you're running a medium to large size installation of Mirth Connect, it quickly becomes burdensome to have to scroll through potentially hundreds of channels to find the one you are looking for. Now let's examine channel groups. What are channel groups? Channel groups add an entirely new level to channel management. Organizing channels under distinct groups allows you to more quickly find the channels you are looking for. You can also perform certain operations across an entire group at once. For instance, you have the ability to export a group of channels as a single file. You can perform bulk actions to apply to an entire group, like enabling and disabling, deploying undeploying, starting and stopping, and many other common Mirth Connect functions. These two tools become especially powerful when combined together. You can use channel groups in conjunction with channel tags to further sophisticate your channel organization. Something to note, each channel can only belong to one group, but tags can apply to many channels in different groups. For the purposes of today's demo, we will be using Mirth Connect version 3.4.2, but it's important to note that channel tags were added in Mirth Connect version 3.0. If you're using an older version, you will not see these options available. Additionally, channel groups were added in version 3.4. Similarly, an older version will not have these options available. At the time of this recording, version 3.4.2 was the most current release. Version 3.5 of Mirth Connect is scheduled to have some improvements to both channel tags and groups. We'll be touching on those updates in a later video. Now, let's take a look at a demo using both channel tags and groups. We'll start off on the dashboard. This is what channels look like without groups or tags enabled. This is what you would normally see in Mirth Connect, a list of channels sorted by whatever column you choose. Again, simple enough if you're only dealing with a handful of channels like we have here. But if this list includes dozens or hundreds of channels, it would be much more difficult to identify which channel you were looking for. Let's take a look at what your dashboard would look like with groups enabled. Later, we'll look at how to set them up. To enable groups, simply click this little icon down on the bottom right next to the statistics radio buttons. You will see now that our channels are divided into three distinct groups. East, West, and Default. The default group is any channel you have yet to assign to a group. For our example, we used a very simple group structure, separating the channels geographically into East and West. The types of groups you decide to use will be dependent on the variety of interfaces you work with. Perhaps you'd categorize them by facility, region, vendor, etc. Whatever makes the most sense to you. Functionally speaking, groups allow you to take bulk actions on all channels in that group. So for instance, if I needed to stop, pause, or undeploy the entire group of channels, I can do it all in one click. For example, let's go ahead and pause the East group. You'll see now that all three of these channels have paused. And just as easily, we can now start all three channels at once. From the channels view, you'll have similar types of group functions, such as redeploying or disabling all channels in a group. From the channels view, you will also have the ability to quickly move a channel from one group to another via drag and drop. Simply select the channel you'd like to move and drag it to the appropriate group. Now that we have seen how groups work, Let's take a look at how to set one up. Simply click the New Group button 
from the Group Tasks menu. Give your group a name and a brief description so others know why you've grouped these channels together. Then click OK. We now have a new group to use and you can begin dropping channels into it. Now let's take a look at channel tags. Channel tags act as keywords we can use to filter our channels with. Let's take a look at an example. Here we have an ADT channel coming from Dr. Stevens. To add a tag, simply come down to the channel tag section in the summary tab, then click add. For this channel, we have added tags for ADT in case we need to filter certain types of interfaces, practice to identify the type of client, and California to further identify the channel within a region. When adding tags, you'll have a drop down to existing tags on the system to speed up the process as well as help keep standard nomenclature. Now that we have some channel tags applied, let's take a look at how we can use them. To enable the channel tag filter, simply click on the little wrench icon down on the bottom left side of the screen. By default, no filters are enabled. By checking the Enable Channel Filter box, all tags are selected. In this case, every channel I have that contains a tag will be shown. However, it is very important to note, if you have any channels that do not have tags assigned to them, they will be filtered out of this view once you enable the filter. Let's go ahead and apply these filters. As you see, two of my channels have now been filtered out as they do not have tags assigned to them. You can see the number of filtered channels next to the little wrench icon down here. So let's do a simple filter example. Let's say I'm only interested in channels that handle ADT interfaces. I can hit the Invert Selection button to unselect all of the channel tags. From here, I can simply enable the ADT tag and hit OK. As you see, we are now presented with a subset of channels to look at. Selecting multiple tags creates an OR style filter. For example, if I select both ADT and California, you will now see interfaces that match either an ADT tag or a California tag. To further drill down our organization, we will need to combine the power of groups and tags. Let's go ahead and re-enable our groups from earlier. Now with the power of groups and tags, I can easily identify which ADT interface is also in the West, narrowing my search. To be even more granular, we could expand our groups to cover states rather than regions and make this even easier. Again, just depends on what your particular workflow is. Besides the additional simplicity that this adds for someone who always lives in this system, it also provides a much easier entry point for a new hire or outsourced resource who is viewing this system for the very first time. They can much more easily find the channels they are looking for without having to dig into the details of each and every one. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. You'll find some useful links down in the description if you need some additional information. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below in the comment section, or you can always head over to our website at consultzen.com. Hey, thanks for watching our Mirth Connect Basics series. Before we go, we just want to let you know that Zen now offers free 15 minute consultations with our engineers. So click the link in the description below to get your schedule today. Thanks for watching.